I'm Ed from Chicago Flyhouse, and today we're going to talk about curtain carriers. We noticed that it's pretty hard to find load ratings on curtain carriers for box track, and so we decided that we should take a look at that and see what they can do. We find that sometimes people load these carriers in ways that they're not really thinking about. For example, if I take a carrier like this and I tie a curtain onto it with the whole curtain, I tie the first carrier and then the whole curtain is hanging there until I get the rest of the carriers put on. That could put a lot of load on this carrier and it might snap not in a regular load situation but in an install situation. Because of that, we thought we'd check this out. So what we did is we decided to get four different kinds of carriers and some box track and do some pull tests. We started with a plastic carrier like this. We then moved to the upgraded version, a metal carrier of the same style. We then wanted to check out a double wheel carrier, a master carrier like this. And then the last one is a scenery carrier, something that's actually made to hold weight. This is made to hold 150 pounds. We'll see how it does. To test these, we decided that we would do a couple different pulls. First of all, we thought we'd pull on the end of the chain and see what that did. We expected that the chain would peel open when we did that. And then once we pulled the wire out of this, we thought we'd try the actual base of the carrier itself. And so we pulled on that hole. You'll see in the testing videos that the chain comes off predictably easily, right? It's, it's not too hard to pull that chain out of there. And so for the rest of the test, we didn't bother pulling on the chain because it's the same chain on all the carriers. When we moved to the metal carrier, we just pulled through the hole at the bottom. We did the same for the master carrier, pulling just on the center hole here. And for the scenery carriers, we put an eye nut on the bottom of the bolt here and we pulled to see what would happen. Let's take a look at the tests. So as usual, we got some predictable results and some things that surprised us a little bit. Uh, the first surprise came when we pulled on the chains. These are the two chains we pulled off. We pulled one at the bottom link here, expecting that the chain link would open and instead the eye at the top opened up. And we're gonna find out this was our weak point, uh, not surprisingly, this was our weak point of the carrier. When we pulled on the carrier itself, we pulled at the bottom here and it took about 600 pounds to punch through the plastic and rip that open. But we can see as we do that, that it also deformed the shaft of the carrier quite a bit. This tells us that if you're loading one of these plastic carriers and you do that where you hang the whole curtain on it at first, uh, you might damage it. Even if you don't break it, you might damage the carrier such that then when it's running, it doesn't work so well. Then we get onto the metal ones. And the metal ones were interesting because of the visual results we got. They were much stronger. Uh, both of our metal carriers broke at about 1,900 pounds. But as you saw from the video, it was a lot more fun to watch what happens 
to the metal carrier when we pull on it. We can see we stretched it all out and we elongated it. We snapped, after some serious deformation, snapped the shaft that holds the wheels and dropped the plastic right off of it. It was much less exciting to watch the master carrier break. We pulled on it and it just snapped out the bottom of the circle there. But again, at about 1,900 pounds in there, because we had two axles, we don't see any real deformation, although there's just a tiny bit here. But probably this is still a working master carrier, except that we've punched out that middle hole. So the last test was a scenery carrier. And what we did with that is we put the carrier in the track and braced it right next to the scenery carrier so that pulling on it wasn't gonna deform the track, it was just gonna pull the scenery carrier. And we were able to pull that with up to 3,000 pounds, which is what we can see on our testing equipment. And it didn't break, it didn't deform, it was fine. Uh, which tells us that that's probably not going to be the place that the thing breaks in a real-life situation. That got us thinking about what would a real-life situation be. So what we did is we reconfigured our testing equipment so that we could actually test a higher number. And then we decided to put the carrier into a track that was spaced about, the bracing was spaced about 3 foot 8 inches apart. That's the recommended hanger placement from the manufacturer. And so we decided to test this sort of a real world scenario. If I'm hanging something heavy on a scenery carrier and it's, we've got a track that's hung the way the manufacturer says, what kind of forces are we going to see? We'll go to that video in just a second, but we wanna make sure that you understand that what we're seeing on the readout in this case is half of the force that we're actually imposing. And so the numbers get doubled because of the way that we've rigged up our testing equipment. Let's take a look. As you can see, what we got there was that we were able to impose a huge amount of force. It was something like 4,000 pounds or higher, but that the track buckled. That tells us that scenery carriers are designed to do what we use them for. If we load them the way the manufacturer says, we should have no problem with the track. It's also informative to know that if we start to see failures, it's going to be the track failing and not the carrier failing, most likely, unless there's a problem with the carrier manufacturing. As always, we go back to the manufacturer if we have any questions. This is all just entertainment testing. We broke one thing, one more thing. There's not a scientific body of data here. This is just us playing around to see what happens. So go see the manufacturer if you have serious questions. Think about the way you use your track in the future. And let us know if you have any questions, comments, things you want to see us do. Drop that in the comments section below. Thanks for watching.